Okay, this was the classical tune of today. So what's up today, my friends? Maybe we don't know. We can't see ahead. We can't see ahead. Sometimes we have to take take it as it comes. No, we never know, but it's Shabbat and it's Shabbat Shalom to everybody. Uh, so what's uh, what's the topic on our Shabbat? That uh, everybody have to rest their uh, judging mind. I think to rest the judging mind is quite, uh, quite good. Uh, not even judge yourself so hard. Uh, maybe it's given just to serve as a, a connection tool with us and uh, us together. And who made us? God. So we are connected in, in God. Every, everything and everyone is connected. It's a time when Loneliness should vanish. Every lonely soul out there on a Shabbat. Take your time and moment as to reflect over what I'm, I'm going to say. I think, I think when, when we can say that God made us all. God made us all. He made us all equal, but in a different form, different way, different... Um, we are all different, but we are all... We are, we are all equal in the value of... Uh, regarding to what? So that's... Uh, that's uh, also make us connected. Some are more connected than others. Uh, I agreed to that. But when it comes to, to it, no one is more connected than others. I think it's, uh, it's quite important to, to make up status on which level we are connected. Maybe you are, we are not connected physically maybe we are not connect connected um, even emotionally but there is a connection anyway it's a spiritual um, it's a way about any imagination of uh, physical uh, connections we are all grounded here and when we are lifting up in the airplane we are not connected to the ground but <clears throat> the air is connected to the ground every everything is connected in a, in some way or the other everything is connected even by air by ice by water by uh, soil by um, stones, by by uh, some um, uh, someone told me the other day that I can't talk like that with you, anyone else but you. I I think a little bit about that, but uh, it seems that people are very superficial. That in itself proves to me that. There are many out there that are superficial. They can't talk, real talk with the other people. Because maybe other people are so preoccupied with superficial stuff. It doesn't really resonate with the, them. And so be it. We can, we can survive that if they are not connected. That's a proof that we really don't need them. It's um, 
it's a need. I think it is a need, but it's at the same time. It's something that is not yet appeared. That's why I, I talk about believing in time. Because, you see, people are mainly superficial, generally. I think it's both, it's, it's both cases. Someone I resonate better with, with uh, than others. And um, the, 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 the resonation is always making things happen. Like in a talk, like in a relationship, like whatever it is. Uh, you see, there are some musicians that are maybe playing this, maybe a guitar or something. And uh, many things goes with that. Drums, saxophones, accordions, trumpet. You see, there are different <laughs> instruments. <laughs> and you are an instrument, my friend. It's a blessing. You, the instrument of you. If you feel that this tune is something capturing your mind, your soul, and everything, you are uh, in tune. It's something there to be explored. Something about other people that resonate with us. So there was this man or someone else say to me that they can't talk like that as they talk with me, with other people. I don't know so much about how people are interacting. It seems to be according to those people that say that to me, it's the superficial relation. How can you stand that? How can you stand a superficial relation when it's nothing, nothing profound to talk about? I don't, I don't get that so clear. It's not in my, it's not in my, in my nature. I like to have this deep down, profound, realistic, real uh, truth to it all. And it may be just a philosophical approach from my my side, but it's, uh, it's I don't know. I think it goes very deep into who I am as a person. Maybe people doesn't really get that. I can be superficial. I can talk about nonsense. I can I can talk about the air. Uh, floating air or waves of air flow. I don't mind. People are in the air too. It's um, it's what it is. We can't define everything. As in, uh, for the Shabbat, we we accept the connections, even if we don't see it. Even if, since I'm alone now, <laughs> I may not see many people here, uh, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I know that there is connections. You can say that uh, it's only bad connections. People are superficial, you are so disappointed, and so on. And uh, I would ask you just for one day, a week, not to put that in a negative basket. Don't put, don't put it in any baskets. <laughs> yes, uh, accept it. The way to accept the, um, the, 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 the nature of things, the nature of your connection. Uh, sometimes we need to accept more than we can achieve. 
You see, people are striving for so much in this life and they, they may kill themselves over that. Why not just accept, embrace it, be the chosen one, be who he is chosen. That goes a very long way. Be the chosen one for the other. Just accept. Just be there. The, to be a chosen one is, is more of a disappointment for everyone else than you. If you are chosen, you, you, you can disappoint so much. <laughs> But, um, my friends, in some degree, everybody is chosen. <clears throat> we are chosen for each other. I am chosen as an enemy. I am chosen as an underdog. I am chosen as a superior. <laughs> I am chosen in, in which way people find fit. <clears throat> and it's okay. Yes, be you. Say no to those that choose you to be something you are not. Just say no. Choose to say no to those that demands things from you that you can't give or doesn't really like to give. You see, I've been talking about corruption. Corruption is a cruel thing. It tempers with the soul of a man. It tempers, it goes deep into this kind of, this guideline, this backbone bone of, uh, of conscience, this morale. If you are corrupted, you will, you will be slain down, crying for um, rescue, for a savior. And uh, sometimes we are there. Sometimes we are slain down, my friend, because we are corrupted, because we have given up ourselves, the dignity, the, the pride in being you for who God made you to be. They are talking much about pride today. It's all about something ex external it's not real pride it's it's uh, it's uh, it's the pride that uh, you do, uh, you wouldn't like to have i wouldn't like to have that pride what is it about that that the pride i'm talking about is something you will um, want that you are a proud you are proud of being who God made you to be in order to fulfill that mission of being you. It's not a selfish mission. It's not about what can you achieve for yourself. No, it's, it's uh, you are the fruit to be eaten. Like someone made this cake. It's half rotten, I think. They eat it any which way. I eat the cake, half rotten, because it's the fruit, fruit for the coffee. You see, to be proud in a way is that you are you, you are the fruit. To be, um, to be as a service, and when you have achieved the acceptance of being you, then you can be at real service for everybody. As I'm talking with people, I think in some regard I have to humbly say say so. I feel that I have achieved some something in my in my endeavor to reach out to find myself. Uh, that. Um, 
I can be the one chosen. I can be the chosen one. I think for Israel's sake it took a long way. They knew deep down they were chosen. Deep down their uh, belief by Abraham. It serves us all. He served not only to the to his own offspring, <laughs> but he serves to the spiritual offspring of being proud to be who he was made to be. That too. You see, in your life, when you feel this loneliness, look at yourself in a broader perspective. Look who you have been in connection with. If you are that lonely today, look back, track it down by the minutes. So to say, to see who you have been interacting with. Make a, make a philosophical, profound thought about that. It's not... Uh, let me google that word. Tilfeldighet. I will say occasionally, but I... I'm not sure about that. Um, random. I don't think it's random. Who you made, who was making you, not random. Who was um, in your connection, not random. Pay much attention to what happens to those people. And even you, you, if you are a criminal, I, I don't know. I don't know you. <laughs> I'm, not sit, I'm, so, I'm not to sit here and judge you. If you are a criminal, go to hell. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, even if you are a criminal, bandit or um, killer. Look who you were in contact with. People need to count their days sometimes. Yes, count, count them. Be aware of who you have been in connection with. What your drive, driving force have been. I will, I, I, I try to often rem remind people, not that I know, that they should be reminded by themselves <laughs> what their drive was all about in their life. Because everyone, every person, small or big, in some way or the other, have um, had their dreams of their drive of being uh, something uh, maybe big. But it's not about being something. It's about being you. And uh, what is your drive, my friend? What is your, what is your wish? What do you love? So the connections can be built again. I'm sitting here to encourage you, my friend. It's, uh, it's uh, important for me to encourage people that have, um, that have lost their, um, their uh, inspiration, their um, ability to 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 think in advance, to think forward, to to believe. You see, to believe is so much deep down into this kind of stuff I'm talking about. To believe is uh, is making connections. Um, accept. Those that want to connect with you. Maybe he's a criminal. Maybe he's a killer. <laughs> Maybe he's a j j judge. Maybe he's someone crazy. But 
that you are the chosen one for him or her. Be that which is so attractive that can impact anyone's life. Make something happening out of your position. It's, uh, it's, it's wanted, it's needed. And even if you get afraid, uh, I have been so much afraid of being just me, saying what's in my heart. It's, um, that can be hard. That can be hard. And it takes guts to do it. Yesterday, yesterday I was told by some friends, I don't want to name them because they know me very, very well. I said that I was that kind of a beacon that had some stamina to stand against multitudes of uh, people. I don't look at myself like that. It's just, uh, it's just some someone is talking. Maybe in their own uh, imagination of me. But in a, which way? I had this example of being a so big crowd, and it seems that most of the crowd was looking at me. I was just uh, atten attending some uh, meeting. And uh, this preacher that was walking around with his flock, his, um, his, uh, they wanted to go around and pray for people. I felt something was very strange in that meeting, very strange and odd. And I don't left that feeling very easy. This feeling, this, uh, this came to me that this man is going to be confronting me in some way. I knew that. And, um, and uh, you see, this man, he, he went around with this flock of, maybe it was seven, I think, seven. Seven people and they went uh, along the benches where people were sitting, laying down, crying, laughing, singing or whatever. He had preached his, his thing and he went around. And, um, and I had a feeling that he was coming up to me. I was just looking at him. I was looking at him. And I didn't move. I was just sitting in my place. And he, he came, looked at me and said, do you have a problem with me? I kind of felt that he overdid it in some way. And I said, nothing, just go away. So that was that several thousand was in that uh, gathering, several thousand people. And um, I can mention his name, but I don't, I have forgotten it. <laughs> it's not that important. And he was traveling around, big preacher like that. And he thought that he is. And I heard one of them that, that told me that I was that kind of man. He said that he disputed. He, a preacher came down to him and he said something, wanted to pray for him and maybe prophesy, <laughs> what they call it, 
and prophesy over him and his life and asked afterwards <laughs> did I um, did I hit a point or was it something true to it I kind of asking and he said sorry no nothing true to that and he began crazy faces and and uh, shouting he couldn't stand the fact that he was not right so that's uh, that's how uh, people are those preachers I will warn you about them but today it's Saturday it's Shabbat you can't judge you have to accept even those those people because if they are sent to you you are the chosen one for that moment for that person for that occasion for that situation you are the chosen for one my friend if someone come up to you you and um, say something you are the chosen one and um, since you were born you were chosen maybe not not in a random way like your parents made you to be like that <laughs> no maybe I would believe since I'm sitting here I feel chosen um, I think by, by the God Almighty he chose you to be you I think that makes the connection okay you don't even need to strive for it as jesus said look at the birds they don't worry about <laughs> life <laughs> it's they will they will uh, pick their food they will uh, they will uh, bloom <laughs> and that's how much more would god in his heaven pro provide for you i'm not sitting here and laughing at people that are poor that are dying out of poverty I'm not I'm not oblivious to that but people um, people um, are despairing out of loneliness and I'm talking about you that feel lonely lonely in your heart because you have not reached someone that um, made you a chosen one I think I've been chosen one from day one and if you start believing that you are the chosen one from day one of your life <laughs> um, you, you can start believe you can start believe in yourself you can start to, to believe in time you can start to be, believe in uh, in uh, motion at uh, every maybe this time as I said last time <laughs> last time <laughs> uh, that uh, maybe the time is just a fixed uh, fixed uh, entity but the space is moving so how would we be able to judge time <laughs> by a spatial uh, movement so when time goes by you have to believe in uh, in uh, in it you have to believe and you are at the focal po point of time so believe that you are the chosen one believe that um, there is connections to me be made even in advance I connected with to this preacher I connected to him in advance <laughs> he made me as a chosen one for him so that made me reflect over that and maybe I made him to reflect over that too no one is judging here it's just a blessing it's just how it is it's how it's made designed for you and for me my friend Shabbat Shalom and my God bless you all